Hello everyone, this is Inspired2016. We would like to give you a free tarot card reading focusing on your love life and your relationship. This tarot card reading will give you an update of your love life, including your past, your presence, and your future relationship card reading. So the way we laid out the card, we will draw four cards for you. So the first card will represent your past love life and the second card will represent your present conditions of your love life and then the third card will represent your future position of your love life and the last card will represent as a guidance card that represent the direction of your love life will be headed into for the next future. So I hope that you enjoy the reading and if you like the reading just click like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Hello Aries, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly love and relationship reading for the week commencing the 6th until the 12th of June 2016. The first card for you is representing the past position of your love life. Your card is the Emperor. The Emperor stands for worldly success. When he turns up in this position it shows that your partner has control of the situation and is in charge. However, just because someone is in a position of control, it doesn't mean they have the energy of the emperor. Like a benign father the emperor likes to control, but in a loving, caring way. There is a big difference between the energy of the Emperor and the energy of someone who likes to manipulate people and situations. In a love reading the Emperor can indicate a very significant period in your life. You have gone beyond first romance and see this person as a part of your everyday life, perhaps someone you will marry and build a family together. Just make sure that you have balance and compromise. The second card for you is representing, your present love life. Your card is, the Hermit. You are taking a journey alone. This is a path that requires you to become hermit-like and seek answers from within. You must listen to that all-important inner voice, trust in your own intuition and find the answers you seek without outside guidance or intervention. In order to achieve inner peace, you must take what you have learned from others and from life experience, both good and bad, and turn it into your own personal wisdom. This personal wisdom can only be acquired from within, never from someone else. This solitary journey shuts out much of the world. This path can feel like a dark cave, but after the knowledge has turned itself into personal wisdom, life resumes as it was before your journey. However, it may be viewed from a different, calmer perspective. The only thing that has changed is the self. This is a card of sacrifice and all else must be temporarily left behind. The third card for you is representing, the future of your love life. Your card is, the Empress. The Empress shows the birth of something in your life, whether it be a relationship business or even a child. She represents fertility and also sexual desirability, particularly for a woman. She can also represent your own mother, or a mother figure, someone who is kind, caring and helps to guide you through life. She is the matriarch and when she appears in a spread she brings a nurturing energy. You are supported, protected and loved. In a love reading your relationship is fertile, your partner is loving and passionate. Enjoy this lovely time together. If you are hoping to conceive a child, now is the time to try. If you do not want children then perhaps you need to take some extra precautions. The last card for you is guidance for your love life. The guidance card for you is. Volunteer. Sometimes volunteer work is the best method of effecting change related to an issue that you're passionate about, and also of exploring a new potential career and meeting like-minded friends. This card is guiding you to volunteer in a way that is meaningful for you. 
Remember that when you give, you also receive. You can't outgive the universe. Some more additional meanings of the card is. Donate items, help a person in need, volunteer to be on a committee, and pray for God to assign you where you're most needed. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.